Manu Altio. There we go. That's the theme from 5,000 Blankets. Yes, yes. The way it's uh, called A Perfect Family, this first cue. And it, it, it's why it's so romantic, because we have this sort of very, you know, we have a very happy start to the film. And it gets gets more complicated later. But yeah. it's, it's uh, interesting. Format. Well, let's talk about the score. Okay, so thanks for this demonstration. I love this. This, this is, I love this theme so much. It's a it's a waltz. Basically, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, talk about how how do you go how do you go about writing uh, your theme? How do you go about finding the theme? Maybe even exploring how you get to this theme. You know, what's what's that like? Yeah, I mean, it's it's I I kind of just. Uh, start thinking of what what's what what is the mood of the, of the film and what's what, what is it about and and, and I, I remember I, I tried a couple of different approaches like we, we had this sort of waltz like sort of happy happy feeling about of the family but there were also some very somber ones and, and which yeah. was more about the sadness in the film and it, it, we kind of very clearly I guess I think you picked this one very quickly from the ones I sent you and it's yeah. just it's it's definitely Stood about the family the, yeah because yeah. you had like five different themes that was the first thing you did you're like okay try this one this one and they were all significantly different from one another but they were like searching for different ideas right yeah yeah and they were really playing different things I don't know how how aware I was at the time of what they were playing because we didn't really know what which themes yeah. we even needed yet. Yeah, so we we're, were just gonna yeah, so it, but they're they're definitely now that I look back on them, they're about different subjects entirely. So yeah. so this is this is about the family and some some other theme that we didn't use was more about the sadness. family theme what i love about not only the theme that you've written for the score but also the way you develop the theme it's like you you present it in full f form completely or orchestrated with the piano shamelessly beautiful at the beginning in the opening titles yeah. and then the whole movie is a reconstruction trying to it's a deconstruction in fact of the of that theme and i love how you developed all the the, the 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 orchestration searching trying to recapture that theme and it's like breaking down and it's falling apart and it's it's trying to grasp back at that because yeah. now the family is falling apart and it's it's but yeah talk about that how you go about yeah that. i mean i i love when when a film opens in this way it, it, in, in on many levels but as a storytelling device it's so so nice to have something that the audience knows very well immediately right. so you can start to just to just do like and they already know that they feel like they don't need to be uh, sort of intellectually aware but but they know that this is sort of this is the family this, yeah. this feels like home And so we can sort of use it in, in, in like there's the, the th scene with Cindy and Philip where where uh, Philip is, is laying on the bed and, and the father has gone missing and, and, yeah. and they're obviously going through a very hard time and Cindy comes into the room and there's there's no dialogue but it feels like the music is sort of the dialogue because yes, it's like yes. the oboe is playing uh, Cindy's thoughts I feel like here. <laughs> It's just on this like static harmony, so it get this more somber feeling here, and it kind of stays on this sustained note, so it feels kind of like a question. And then we have kind of the answer in, in the cello the one from Philip. Yeah. Because here, and then oh, maybe maybe <laughs> Cindy feels like uh, uh, that that's. I think that's that's just like Philip's thought that he really misses his dad, and yeah. and Cindy feels that, so she decides not to talk, but just to. Play that oh, play. I love this so much! <laughs> I love too. this so much.
This is what genius looks like. <laughs> this is seriously, I love this cube so much. Yeah. And I mean, then you have it on an oboe. The, the decision to play it on an oboe. Tell me about, like, so tell me how you, well, okay. How do you, I mean, I love, when I first heard this cue uh, in your demos, I, I was so moved and so happy and so sad at the same time because it's just so, it tugs at the heart. And it feels like the best of Ennio Morricone, the stuff that I love of Ennio Morricone and the Gabriele Arias. It has that melancholy. Uh, but yeah, so, okay, why decide to do that on an oboe, as an example? Well, the o oboe, it has kind of this somewhat melancholy quality to the sound somehow. Yeah. So so it, it just felt like, and it, I, I just realized actually, because I'm using, uh, at, at the end of the film, we're kind of ending on a happier note on the flute and the cello so it's again Cindy and Philip but the, it's 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 a bit happier now with the with the flute so yeah. so the the tone of the the instrument is is giving you kind of some emotion already but of course yeah. the music also yeah. follows that but The others is, is the purpose theme, which is just the just this little motif, which right. we kind of ended up picking as the second theme, and and yeah. uh, and, and it, it complements the first one nicely because it, this is very easy to use in very short short places, and and also it, it because it, it's kind of this thought that starts to develop in Cindy's mind. Sorry. What are you doing? Philip, roll up your window. But, Mom. Philip, roll it up now. God bless you, son. We don't really know yet. Cindy doesn't really know what it is, and we don't really know it. So it's just yeah. some planting some some kind of idea that starts to form. Right. And then uh, when Cindy is talking to the pastor and and about what to do because Bobby has gone missing and she's really struggling what to do next. Yeah. Uh, she starts to have some idea about maybe maybe uh, finding a, sort of another purpose in yeah. life, and that that's kind of when we start to hear it again. And and it it really is becomes a big statement after. Uh, Philip comes in with the blanket and, and yeah. she has this realization that this this could be something and then we yeah. we play it in a really big way with strings and, and guitar and vocals listen look be ready for the call when it comes well you know where to find me if you need any more tips mm. I'm here for you the whole church is here for you thank you mm -hmm. It's still just the, the motif. It hasn't yeah. become like a full theme yet. Yeah. But then when Cindy is in the church and, and she's giving this speech uh, and, and so it's trying to rally the people around this, this cause of, of helping people, then, then we kind of develop this, this into a full theme and we kind of start with this sort of kind of gospel-like intro. Uh -huh. And uh, here I remember actually you had a really good note, note because like, Actually, a note note because I, I actually I did this originally and right. they were like, hey, could we do like a more gospel start? So I, I, I did them. And that was a right. really good idea. I made the music. Just that much, one note yeah, difference makes made, it gospel, doesn't it? Yeah, made much better. So thank you. My we music compare, the, compare, the two, compare the two. How, 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 <laughs> yeah, so, so this, this was the original I just did. Right. And then. 
and then your suggestion was to do. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a great, great note. says if there's a musical expression of kindness it's in that and then it switches keys here yeah kind of so nice kind of vary the harmony a bit then we kind of do this huge crescendo with which on the album maybe It's because it builds to such a high note and then it has like such a and I remember when we were doing it It's like no go own it all the way because <laughs> yes. the the next scene is like kind of laughing at the Sentimentality of right. that moment and I love doing that where it's like let's go full on and then it's like nope You know, yeah, and I, yeah. I love that Yeah, it's it, an it, awesome hard it, cut. The music yeah. crescendoing that high made the next moment funnier. Yes. Yes Truly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> With such earnestness. It's like Grand, save the world. No, you're not gonna do that. <laughs> um, I mean, there's the, the ending words, cue. Yeah. Ending cue is, yes. is definitely. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause that that's when when we kind of return to the family theme. Maybe we've been kind of hinting at it all the time, but now we we return to it, but in a different way. And, yeah. and it's so I, I think you said that this music is about kindness as well. That's kind of how you you yeah. characterized yeah. it, and I, I definitely feel like that's. And it's also like uh, in contrast to that sort of romantic. Uh, version in the beginning. No, it's sort of more true to life. It's not perfectly happy, but it's not perfectly. It's not sad. Perfectly yeah. sad either. It's yeah. kind of somewhere in the middle, kind yeah. of like real life. So, so it, it's a, it's a new new format for it. Yeah. So you have this like uh, figure in the guitar. So it really starts to feel like the movie is about to end. <laughs> It's been varied a bit, and oh. then, but then we have this like the family theme comes back, but it's very different now. Oh. It's actually this long format. It's right? like a lament. And then we go back to the guitar. And now we kind of have this kind of more cheerful family theme yeah. format here. Yeah. started overanalyzing so much that I kept changing the notes and then you're like no no the original was way better and so I went, <laughs> and so went back to the yeah. original you're absolutely right this this, this.
bit of purpose again. And the happier Final big, fully orchestrated with choir and everything statement yeah. with. purpose statement. This uh -huh. maybe is like the fulfillment of the, the fulfillment, purpose because yeah. it's like the declaration. We'll come this big sort of maybe gospel type cadence again and yeah. then finish here. And then the then there's the flute. flute yeah. And it ends on two notes, kind of like in Cindy and Philip, but now it's just uh, flute and cello here. So it's again, maybe kind of a return uh, to it. <laughs> so good. Now play it without talking and I'll just record you. Okay, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Five thousand likes. <laughs> By Fano Altio. Nice. <laughs>